All right, everybody, welcome back to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour we are going to be practicing our reading and pronunciation as we read through a short story entitled Colorado. The, the link to the short story <clears throat> is in the Verbling chat box, okay, as well as in the Google chat box. Okay, um, so I uh, put it in in both places. So when you get into class, if you if you if your verbling chat isn't working, the link to uh, Google Chat is uh, it should be available for you, and uh, you should be able to open that up. Okay, uh, very good. Let's see who we have in class so far. Hello, Aga. How are you? Hello. I'm good, thank you. How are Next. you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are things going for you today? Everything good? Yes. Finally, I managed to sleep longer because last week, uh, last week I was like sleeping four or five hours. It was maximum, wow. and today I was sleeping till almost one p.m. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah. So that, that must be nice to relax a little bit, though, right? Yes. Yes. It was great. Excellent. All right, how about uh, Emmanuel? Oh, he took off. All right, well, um, uh, let's see, Amparo's uh, coming in. Uh, go ahead and, and open that up. I'll wait for uh, Amparo to be able to uh, um, uh, unmute herself. Uh, let's see, Julissa, how are you? Hi. Hi, Hi. hello, Chad. I'm doing fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right, Amparo, can you hear me now? Nope. How about uh, Action? Action, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you, Chad. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself, man? Uh, I'm. Oh, I'm also good. Thanks. This weekend, so uh, I I relaxed very well. I'm. Yeah. I'm Every everybody's happy on the weekend, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Uh, how about uh, Amparo? Amparo, can you hear me now? All right, how about uh, Emmanuel? Hi. Hi there, how you doing? How are you? I'm doing good, how about yourself? All right, uh, how about uh, uh, Caroline? How are you? Fine, thanks. Carolyn, can you hear me okay? Oh yeah, I, I can hear you. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. Welcome welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right, let's uh, check back with uh, Amparo. Amparo, can you hear me okay? Yes, now I can hear you. There we go. How are you? I'm doing good. Welcome to class. Thank you. All right, how about uh, Alberto? How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. You? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. All right, you guys. Um, welcome to class. Let's go ahead and get started so we can get you guys reading. All right, the uh, link is uh, in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up. Uh, when you do, this is, uh, this is what you'll see. <clears throat> okay, and we'll start over with uh, Aga on the left-hand side. Uh, let me have you read the uh, first Two paragraphs, please. Okay. Uh, note that the author was 15 years old when he wrote the story. The train checked into that Denver station. The train was on its final leg of the New York to Denver road. Uh, as the white capped peaks of the mountains came into view, a man clad in leather boots walked to the front of the rail, railroad car. He was a younger man, about 25 years old, had brown hair and was quite tall and lean, but he had a muscular build. The hat he, he wore was dusty, well-worn and tan-colored, and he wore a shirt that matched his eyes. His eyes were as blue as the Colorado sky. The young man also wore a pair of faded uh, 
khaki colored trousers. The gun belt he wore around his waist was made of the finest co white. Yet it is uh, it uh, too was showing sign of, of of wear. In the holster was a pair of cold revolving handguns. He walked with a certain swagger in his step. His face was cool and confident. The young man had some stubble on his chin for a slightly bird-like look. Okay, very good. Um, let's uh, let's look. Uh, at some words here, okay? Um, first up is this word here. The word is confident, okay? Uh, you had pronounced uh, the ending as confidant, all right? Now, there's a difference because confidant is a word, okay? If you are my confidant, that means I trust you and I will tell you my secrets, okay? okay. It's to confide in someone. If you, if you say confidant, and that is with an A N T at the end, but confident. Okay, is a little different. Okay, it means that you're you're you believe in yourself. Okay, you have a self. Uh, you have a a little bit of pride, not bad pride, you know, but uh, but you believe in yourself. Okay, you have a very good self esteem. Okay, so let's practice that. The word is confident. Confident. Okay, one more time. Confident. Confident. Very good. Okay, uh, here this word is where. Okay, instead where? of where. Where it's where so signs of where, where, good signs of where, excellent. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, now this is probably a new word for you. The word is cowhide. Cowhide. And that's uh, basically the skin of a cow. Okay, okay. cowhide. Right. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to muscular. Instead of muscular, it's mu muscular. Muscular. There you go. Okay, someone who is strong. All right, and this word here, let's practice the G plus the ED ending. The word is chugged. Chugged. Okay, one more time. Chugged. Chugged. Good, good. Nice job. Okay, thank you, Aga. Thank you. All right, let's go to action. Let me have you continue reading. Uh, please read uh, the next, let's see, uh, next two and a half paragraphs. So I'll have you read down to uh, right here where it says robbery, okay? Okay. He walked around into the rail car where his horse was being held. The summer sun beat down upon his neck. He stopped to mop his brow, glad to be back. His friend was in New York, and he went there to visit him. Now he was just returning and needed a rest. He mounted his chocolate-colored stallion rode into town and checked into the nearest hotel for the ride. The young man awoke with a start. Good morning, was said in an, unfam uh, was said in an unf unfamiliar voice. Looking up, he saw a man sitting in his hotel room. This man was an older man dressed in a suit and he wore brand new polished black shoes. The sun was just above the horizon. Hello, replied the younger man. You must be Jones. That's right. Good, I need your help. Why would this, uh, this, this person need, this, uh, need his help? Jones pondered. This older man was obviously rich. He could afford new shoes. Why me? Jones asked. Couldn't, couldn't he have hired anyone else? He thought. Let me explain. Exactly ten days ago, thieves stole all of the gold reserves from the Crescent City Bank. Jones, I'd like to hire you to investigate this bank robbery. Okay, good, good. Let's uh, check out some words here, all right? Um, first off, I want to practice this, uh, this sentence here. Um, afford new shoes kind of uh, was really mixed together, and I want to practice the enunciation of them. That means uh, speaking those words clearly. So um, we're going to say, he could afford new shoes. Try that, please. He could afford new shoes. Good. One more time. He could afford new shoes. He, he could afford new shoes. Good, nice. Okay, let's go to the word polished. Here you had said polished. All right, let's end with a T sound, polished. Pol polished. Okay, uh, almost get a T sound at the very end, polished. Polished. Okay, good. All right, uh, let's go to uh, the DR sound. Okay, dressed, so instead of yeah. saying dressed, we want to say dr, dressed. Dressed. Okay, very good. One more time. Dr, dressed. Dressed. 
Okay, uh, very very close. Okay, um, right now you're you're saying dressed and uh, pronouncing a hard R. I want you to uh, produce a sound that sounds like this. We're gonna say jr jr jr. Okay, so you dress. want to you want to curve your tongue down instead of leaving your tongue at the top. Okay, so you're gonna push your tongue down to the bottom. Okay, and uh, and uh, put your almost your like your teeth are together, but it it looks like this. Jr jr dressed. Try that. Dress. No. Almost. Okay, try this sound. Jr jr. Good. Okay. Jr dressed. Dressed. Almost. Almost. Okay. So the the key to that sound is to push your tongue your tongue down because right now you're saying dressed. Okay. Uh, and your and your tongue is hitting the top of your mouth, uh, producing that hard R sound. So uh, same with the other R's that you pronounce. Push your tongue down, and it's really difficult after that D. But if you focus on uh, on them as being one sound instead of two separate letters, okay, it uh, it may help you. Okay, so let's give it one more try. Okay, okay, it's sort of a you're gonna have a vibration back here. Okay, and you're going to go to that R sound. Er, jr, dressed. Okay, try dressed. that. Dressed. There, that's it. Okay, much better. One more time. Dressed. Dressed. Good. Okay, I can I can hear that your tongue is not hitting the top of your mouth. Much better. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's go to one last word. And the word is hotel. Where did you go, hotel? Yeah, All right, hotel. right here. I, I spelled it like, like a hotel, but it's hotel. Yeah. Uh, yes, you had said uh, um, hotel. Okay, uh, the word is, uh, let's see. No, you had said hotel, putting the accent at the very beginning. Okay, mm -hmm. the accent goes at the end. The word is hotel. Hotel. There, hotel. there you go. Okay? okay, very good. Nice job. Thanks. All right, let's uh, let's go to Alberto. Let me have you continue reading, please. Uh, starting at me, an investigator, and reading down to the bottom where it says Crescent City. Yeah. Uh, well, Jones, old friend Jerry. Jerry was a hard man, but a loyal friend. He was also one of the most feared guns later uh, in the West. Jones replied, still puzzled. How do you know Jeremy Levinson? Well, the mayor knows him personally. The mayor? Yes, the mayor of Crescent City. I've heard of Jeremy Levinson, and I've also heard of Crescent City, but who are you? Jones was still, uh, still, uh, still puzzled. I apologize for not introducing myself sooner. I'm of the, uh, on the city council of Crescent City. I am the treasurer and I am also the mayor's personal advisor. My name is Benjamin Harris. That would explain the new shoes, Jones thought. Harris continued, I will pay for your fare on the stage code and you will be paid $25 a day to investigate the robbery of the bank of Crescent City. Jones okay. considered uh, just the... tell there. Just tell there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, some words, okay? Uh, first up, this word is stagecoach. Stagecoach. Okay. Give me a ch sound at the end. It sounds like yeah. this. Stagecoach. Stagecoach. There you go. Okay. Um, now, at the beginning of the word, you're saying eh S stage. Okay, so we we want to go to the S sound first. Okay, stagecoach. Try that. Stagecoach. There you go. Much better. Okay, uh, let's go to the word apologize. So this G is going to make a J sound. J jize. Apologize. Try that. Apologize. Okay, um, let's talk about the J. Okay, apologize. so um, right now you're saying apologize, okay, pronouncing more of a Y sound, yes, okay, that G makes a J sound. Now, the difference with the J is that you'll have a vibration right here in your throat, okay, it's a voiced sound, 
Okay, so uh, to show you how that feels, we're going to pronounce the E sound. So I want you to say E and feel your throat right here about where your Adam's apple is at. E. Try that. E. e. Okay, so you feel that vibration. E. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to pronounce a J. So you're going to close your mouth just a little bit more. Okay. And, uh, and your tongue is going to be between your, uh, kind of between your teeth. Not, not like this. But down, down below. Okay, we say, j, j. J, j, j. there you go. That's that sound right here. Okay, so we say apologize. Apologize. Good. Okay, let's uh, try that one more time. We're gonna say apologize. Apologize. Okay, get that voice, that that vibration here. Apologize. J, j, j. Apologize. Okay, yeah. much better, okay? So when you pronounce that G or that J, okay, you're going to get that vibration right there, okay? Um, let's go to uh, another word, okay? This word is puzzled, okay? The Zs, okay? The Z as well is going to get a vibration in the throat, Z, E, e that, that E sound, Z, okay, that vibration. So we say puzzled, puzzled. Try that. Puzzled. There you go. Good. One more time. Puzzled. Puzzled. Nice. Okay. And one last word. This word is personally. Personally. Good. One more time. Personally. Personally. Excellent. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's go to Amparo. Thank you. All right, Amparo, let me have uh -huh. you uh, uh, read through this next paragraph, starting with Jones Considered. And about halfway through um, this uh, this second paragraph here, okay? Uh, okay. Going to uh, Jones was there. Okay. Jones considered this. Somehow he felt that he could not trust Harris. It seemed rather uncouth for him to come bargain into his room without a prior introduction, even though he had never met Harris till now. He felt I thought that there was there was something un, untrustworthy about wealthy and inclusion men. They always made him apprehensive, and also he had never been a detective. Nevertheless, twenty-five dollars a day was very good wages for eighteen seventy-nine. He also wanted to see Jerry again. Contemplating it a bit more, he announced his decision. I accept. Fireworks lay there. The stage rumbled into Crescent City, and as it did, clouds started to build up and a strong wind whistled. Well, Jones, here we are, proclaimed Harris, in between claps of rolling thunder. Jones looked around. What he saw stunned him. Seven years ago, Jones had arrived in Crescent City on his first cattle drive from El Paso. Instead of going back to El Paso, he stayed in Colorado. For years he went from town. Jones promoted justice and was the unofficial protector of Colorado. Wherever the bad guys were, Jones was there. Okay, very good. Uh, let's take a look at uh, a few words here, okay? Um, and they're at, at the very beginning. So this word here is uncouth. Uncouth. Okay, Unco, uncouth. Uncouth. Yeah, sort of like saying booth or tooth. Okay, it has that ooh sound there. All right. Now, uh, uncouth. Um, uh, here, what he's uh, what he's uh, um, what he's meaning with the word is improper, okay? Uh, usually, we use the word uncouth when we're talking about our appearance, okay? Uh, so someone walked into the room uncouth, meaning that their hair was messy, um, their shirt wasn't buttoned up, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe they smelled funny, okay? That would be uh, uncouth, all right? So uh, it would be improper to walk in like that. All right, so that's what he's meaning here as well. It would be rather improper to come uh, to walk into someone's room. So uh, that leads us to our next word, which is barge, barging. That's a J sound there, barging. barging. Try that. Barging. Good, good. Okay. Um, and last word is influential. 
Influential. Good. One more time. Influential. Influential. Excellent. Okay. Uh, very good. Everything else sounded sounded very nice. Nice job. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Jones was there. Okay. So we're right there on his. And my next reader is uh, Caroline. Yeah, that's me. All right. Let's have you uh, continue reading from uh, his gunslinging. Okay, um, I'll have you finish off this paragraph, read this next one, and go about halfway, uh, or a few sentences is, is, goodness, a few sentences into this uh, third paragraph, okay? Go ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, his gunslinging earned him the nickname of Colorado Jones. His travels took him all throughout Colorado, yet in the seven years that he had been gone from Crescent City, things has, had changed. They had changed a lot. Once a peaceful, busy, quiet little town, Crescent City was now the poorly maintained home of all the outlaws in Colorado. How could Crescent City become so, so corrupted? Jones asked. Hard time, Mr. Jones, hard times, Harris responded. Looks like a storm is building. Let me take you down to visit the bank before you get wet. No, I'm going to meet a friend. He lives near here. I'll ride over to his place. A little rain never hurt anybody. And you don't need to book me a hotel room. I have made arrangements. Very well, Harry's tight. Jeremiah Lewiston stood on the front porch of his house. Rain was coming down in sheets. He stared into the big black storm clouds. Jerry was he in his mid-forties and still strong. He was wearing an old tattered straw hat that showed his copper colored hair. All right, very good. Uh, now, excellent job with your, your T to D sounds like uh, 40s. Okay, that sounded really good. Uh, you can do the same with uh, some double T words. Okay, like little. All right, now with this word here, tattered, you can definitely do that. So instead of saying tattered, let's say tattered. Try that. Tattered. Tattered, tattered, tattered. There you go. Yeah, so we can switch that to a D sound. Okay. okay. One more time. Tattered. Tattered. Okay. That's good. No. Um, uh, let's uh, let's go to the word well. Now, uh, Caroline, you're from Brazil, I would imagine, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, now the L sound is uh, is a little difficult for Portuguese speakers. Okay, uh, because um, like when you uh, pronounce the name of your country, you say Brasil, all right, and that L yeah. turns to a U sound. Okay, the same with uh, words like well and build. These are difficult words for you. So um, let's practice the L. Okay, so instead of saying well, we want to say well. Well. Okay, so when we pronounce the L, okay, your tongue is going to curve all the way up to the top and touch the top of your mouth. You don't want to touch your teeth, okay, but it does need to touch the top of your mouth. Well, like that, well, okay, so well. try that, well. Well. Good, good, all right. Let's, uh, let's go to our next word, which is build, okay, same thing, but we're going to use a short I, b, and go to an L, bill, d, build, try that, build, Good. One more time. Build. Build. Good. Okay. Nice job. All right. Let's uh, take a look at uh, a couple other words here. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> okay. Yet. Okay. Here you had said yat, ya. Okay. It's going to be a short E sound. Yeah. Yet. Try that. Yet. Good, nice. And the ed ending on earn. Okay, we say earned. Earned. Good. One more time. Earned. Earned. All right. Uh, here we want to pronounce a d sound instead of a t. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce your name in in Portuguese? Uh, can you say your first name for me? Carolini. Okay. So, Caro Carolini, right? So, so that that that's it. That I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, uh, that R in caro, caro is how we pronounce the D. 
okay, in, in English, okay? You want your tongue to hit the top of your mouth, the carol, carol, right? Like how we say did. Now here we're going to say earned, okay, not earned. Okay, that's a T sound. We want to say earned. And I want you to think of a, a of the Portuguese hard R, like in your name, Cado. All right, so earned. Try that, please. Earned. Okay, pull your tongue back just a little, little bit more so it can hit the top of your mouth. Okay, earned. Earned. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's try an exercise. We're going to say d d d. D, d, d. Okay, one more time. D, d, d. D, d, d. Okay, now we're going to say n, d, n, d. So your tongue is going to go up to the top of your mouth, then you're going to say a d sound. N, d, n, d. Try that. N, d. Good. N, d. Good, okay. N, d, n, d. N, d. Good, okay. Now we're going to say er, n, d. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna. We want to remove that d at that uh sound at the end. So we're gonna say earned. Okay. It's really small. Earned. Earned. Ah, pull your pull your tongue back like how we were saying. Earned. 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 Good. Okay. Earned. Earned. Okay, very close. So I want you to practice that n sound. Okay, so okay. starting off with that n and saying n d n d n d. Okay, and that'll help you get control of your tongue. Then you can add vowels in front of that. It doesn't matter which vowel it is. Okay, but what you want to do is practice saying something before you get to that n d sound. Okay, earned, and, okay. end. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the word makes sense. Okay, but practicing vowels in front of that n sound. Okay, and that will help you master that uh, that ed ending. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Very good. Uh, let's go to our next reader. Um, Emmanuel. Yes. All right. Let me have you continue reading, please, starting at the leather coat. All right. I'll have you uh, finish off this paragraph and read down. <laughs> to the bottom here where it says listless. Okay. The leather coat that Jeremiah wore was faded, but it served as a good raincoat. As the leather was still waterproof, he also wore a beard. His green eyes shone like a big green emeralds. Jerry looked down toward the path. It was Colorado? No way. But sure enough, there he was. Colorado brought his horse to a health. Hey, old friend. My, my, if it ain't Colorado Jones, why don't you come on the porch? You look socked. I'll make you some coffee. Thanks. I could use some coffee. Colorado dismounted and strolled onto the porch. Rain dripped from his wide brimmed hat. How you been doing lately, Jerry? Not too bad. You? I'm good. Stated Jones up a Tactically. What's wrong, Colorado? You know about a bank robbery? Come on inside. We need to talk. Jeremiah's voice sounded down earth and listless. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some words here, okay? Um all right, um, let's go to uh, dripped, okay? Now, one thing I do want to say, your ED endings when you have a T, okay, or an M oh. or N, when it needs to sound like a D, those sound good, okay? Brimmed okay. sounded great. Dismounted, great. Strolled, great, okay? Where, where okay. you get uh, uh, tricked up a little bit is with the T endings. So when a word ends with a P, Okay, 
uh, okay. the a P sound, it sounds like a T. So the word is dripped. Try that. Dripped. Good, good. All right. As well, when the word sounds like a, a, a K sound, like soak, that ED is a T. Soaked. Soaked. Good. One more time. Soaked. Soaked. Great. Okay. Uh, let's okay. practice the uh, CH ending on porch. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here. Um, so it's a CH. Ch porch. 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 Good. One more time. Porch. Porch. Good. Okay. Um, let's okay. go to uh, Jerry. Now, an important concept in English is that uh, we only have one R sound. Even if we have two R's, we still only make one R. So this word would not be Jerry. Okay, it's Jerry. Okay. Try that, please. Jerry. Jerry. Good. Okay. Now, um, okay. watch watch your uh, your A. Or sorry, your vowel sounds. Uh, you tend to put an H at the beginning of some of the words that start with uh, vowels, like also. Here you would said also, adding an H there. Okay, so we don't also. want to add an H. We want to remove the H and say all, also. Also. There you go. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to say he also wore. He also wore. He also wore. Okay, so here you had said he also. So remove that H. He also. Go straight to that A sound, all. He also wore. Try that. He also wore. Okay, good. Much better with that with, with removing that H. But this word does need the H. So he also. Try that. He also. He also. Good. Much better. Nice job. Okay. So, um, uh, Emmanuel, uh, I'm I'm going to give you uh, a link to one of my uh, ED ending videos. Okay. So it, this this video will give you the rules on which word which words we pronounce with a D ending, which ones e uh, end with a T ending, and which ones end with an ID ending. Okay, uh, so you can okay. uh, work through those and uh, and memorize which ones end with a T. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right, let's go to Julissa. Yeah. All right, Julissa. Let me have you continue, starting with Colorado sat down. And read till, um, let's see, let me have you read till, uh, yeah, I, it, it, till here, till uh, $2,000, $20,000 was gone, okay? Okay. Colorado sat down at the table. He took a nice long sip of his piping hot coffee. It tasted so good to him. He stopped for a minute to listen to the rain hitting the roof and then took another sip. Thunder rumbled in the distance. It had, been, it had been a while since John's last had a good cup of coffee. Now, why do you ask about a bank robbery? Jerry asked straightforwardly. Benjamin Harris. Wait, did you say Benjamin Harris? Yes, I did. How do you know Benjamin Harris? Why, I met him in Denver. He was the one who came to hire me to investigate the bank robbery I told you about. Benjamin Harris is the most proof reprehensible man I have ever met. Five years ago, he swinged me out of a city council seat. The town has been run down ever since. But anyway, about that bank robbery, Jerry, Jerry took a deep breath. Eleven days ago, $20,000 worth of $50 gold pieces, all of them fresh out of the mint, arrived in a wagon. It was heavily armed. armed. That night, in the local hotel, the only detective in town was shot to death in the lobby. The next morning, all of the $20,000 was gone. All right, very good. Nice, uh, nice reading here. Uh, let's take a look at <clears throat> uh, also nice catch on armed. You caught yourself saying harmed, but yes, armed. Okay. Uh, now this word here is wagon instead of wagon. Wagon. Try that, wagon. please. Wagon. Good. 
Wagon. Yes, wagon, okay? Wagon. Uh, now, this, this word may be a new one for you. The word is swindle, okay, with an ED ending, swindled. Swindled. Good, good. Swindled. Now, that means to, to trick, okay? Uh, and we usually say, uh, swindle me out of, okay? That's usually the, sw the phrase that we use. We have me out of, okay, or us out of or him out of, so uh, uh, some sort of pronoun here, okay? Um, so you swindle someone out of their money, um, their time, their <clears throat> inheritance, okay, things like that. So it's when you, uh, you steal, uh, you trick someone to steal from them, usually money, okay? All right, let's go to the word crooked. We're talking about here. We are. So this word here is crooked. Try that, please. Crooked. crooked. Good. With the T, uh, let's see, crooked. Ah, crooked. Ah, this is, uh, this is one of the exceptions, class. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so usually, um, and I caught myself on it, uh, because usually when you have a word that ends with a K, like, um, uh, what, uh, peak, okay, peak, all right, the ED is usually a T sound. We would say peaked. Okay, but with this word here, crook, okay, this is crooked. All right, crooked. Uh, even with the ed ending on the end, crooked. Okay, so that's how we pronounce this word, crooked. Try that. Crooked. Uh huh, very good. All right, nice. All right, so last word is the word good. Okay, so instead of using an oo sound, we would use an u uh sound, good. Good. Great. Uh, last, uh, uh, let's see, a, a good cup of coffee. Try that. A good cup of coffee. A good cup of coffee. Excellent. That's a, that's a, that's a good way to say good. Nice. All right. Thank you very much, Julissa. Thanks. Okay. Let's go to, let's go back up to the top to Aga and have you continue. Mm -hmm. uh, here it says, why else? Okay. And I'll have you read down to... Um, mayor, or let's go to uh, great coffee. Mm, okay. All right, go ahead. Why, why else would it be missing? Do you have any suspects? Colorado sounded calm as ever. No, but I have always suspected that two face treacherous crook uh, Harris. My reason for my misgivings is that the day before the bank robbery, Harris went out and bought himself some $100 shoes in Denver. When he came back, he grabbed, uh, he bragged to everyone about his new shoes. Not even Harris is wealthy enough to buy $100 shoes. Then silence followed. Outside, more thunder boomed. For a few moments, no one talked. Colorado took another sip of his coffee. What should I do? Colorado asked, asked assertively. Do what you were hired to do. Start by by going down to the bank. Right. Listen, Colorado. You are the best gunman on either side of the Mississippi. Let's do, let those uh, let those outlaws know you are not afraid, and make sure they do it do it your way. If they hire you, they must not know that you're Colorado Jones. The only reason Harris hired you is because I recommended you to the mayor. Thanks, Jerry. I owe you a lot. Colorado got up too early. By the way, you make great coffee. All right. Very good. <clears throat> Let's go to hired. Hired. Hi. So we want to pronounce that H. Okay. Uh, if they hired you. Hi. Hired you. Try that. If they hired you. Good. Much better. Okay, and one other word. Okay, it's probably a new word for you. The word is treacherous. Treacherous. Uh -huh. One more time. Treacherous. Treacherous. Very good. Okay, and that means uh, uh, dangerous, a treacherous. Okay, okay. Right. dangerous. Okay, uh, very good. Nice reading. Uh, let's uh, continue. Uh, let's go to action. Action, uh, read this next uh, paragraph here. Okay, Chad.
Okay, action, go ahead. Action, can you hear me okay? All right, um, three, two, one, let's go okay, to Okay, I can hear you. Oh. I can hear <laughs> Okay, are, are you ready to, uh, you ready to read? Okay, this part, okay. Sorry, I, I have, I have troubles with my connection. Okay. Okay. The rain had ended when Colorado Jones stepped into the Crescent City Bank. He walked up to the counter. What can you, what can I do for you, said clerk. I am investigating the robbery of 11 days ago. Were, were there any witness? Just one. The clerk stopped. Uh, the clerk stopped Jane. Uh, the clerk stopped. Jane, come here, Jane. Yes. Jane, meet uh, miss, Mr. Um, Jones. Jane, meet miss, Mr. Jones. The clerk went on. He wants he wants to know if you know if if you know anything about the bank robbery 11, 11 days ago. I do know one thing. I could not uh, take my eyes off of the robbers' new shoes. Said Jane nonchalantly. What color were they? Said Jones enthusiastically. Black, blacker than night, and all fresh look polished too. Okay, good, good. Let's uh, take a look at uh, a couple words here. All right, um, let's go to nonchalantly. This CH is going to sound like an SH. Nonchalantly. Nonchalantly. Good, good. Nice job. And, and nonchalantly means casually. Okay, so ah, I couldn't take my eyes off his shoes, his new shoes. So it's uh, casually um, uh, the person would say that. Okay, um, and... Uh, this word here, robbery. Okay, make sure to focus on your R sounds there. Robbery. 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 One more time. Robbery. Robbery. Okay. Uh, the end here, you're pronouncing a hard R, saying robbery. Okay. Robbery. Robbery. Ro Try that. Robber robbery. There you go. That's it. Much better. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, everything else sounded really good. Okay, nice job. Uh, let's uh, keep going. Uh, Alberto, let me have you continue reading. Yeah. Uh, here where it says Jones turned and walked. Okay. Uh, down to where it says um, uh, to us as well. Okay. Go ahead, please. Alberto, can you hear me okay? Ah, my microphone, sorry. Oh, there you go, okay. <laughs> uh, John turned and walked out of the bank. What's uh, that all about? Uh, Asked uh, Jane faintly. Uh, uh, I don't really know, stated the clerk. Jones came in strolling out of the bank. Benjamin Harris was waiting for him. Well, did you find anything? Benjamin Harris sounded uneasy. Nope. Oh, well, I'm going down to the saloon, John said casually. I need something to drink. You coming? No. I need to meet someone. Very good. I'll be down there if you need me. Benjamin Harris would at you. He wrote his chestnut colored horse down to his apartment. Waiting for him was a group of shady looking men. Harris spoke to the men. John, uh, Jones is on to us. I think he knows who stole the money from the Crescent City Bank. I'm sure he knows that it's ours. Jeremy Levinson is on to us as well. Okay, very good. Uh, let's practice the word bank. So Crescent City Bank. Instead of bonk, it is bank. Bank. There you go. Nice. All right. <laughs> um, this word here is shady. Okay, a group of shady looking men. Try that. Shady. A uh -huh. group of shady looking men. Exactly. Now, the, 
uh, those would be people that uh, look uh, uh, maybe look dangerous. You don't know about them. You're kind of uh, frightened by them. They're shady, shady characters or shady looking men. Okay, it would be someone that you, that you're like, uh, I'm gonna stay away from you. You look like uh, you're up to no good. Okay, a shady looking yeah. person. Okay, um, let's practice the J sound in the name Benjamin. So get that J sound there, Benjamin. Benjamin. Good. One more time. Benjamin. Benjamin. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go to nope. Okay. This is a quick word. It means no. All right. So nope with an O sound. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. So instead of nop, it is nope. Okay. Uh, um, one last word. We're going to practice the S-T-R. Okay. Str strolling. Strolling. Try that. Strolling. Okay, let's go to a stir sound. So stir, strolling. Strolling. Good, good. Get that L in there as well. Okay, the S T R sounds fabulous now. Okay, now let's get that L. Strolling, strolling. Strolling. Okay, much better. One more time. Strolling. Strolling. Okay, good, good. Nice job. Okay, thank you, Alberto. Uh, let's go to Amparo. All right, Amparo, let me have you uh, continue. Uh, right here where it says impossible. And I'll have you read down to uh, Jeremiah's ranch, please. Impossible. Even though I do know that Jeremy has been on to us since day one, why would, you, uh, why would John be on to us? declared the leader of the Mian. I'm sure that Jeremy knows John's type. And no, it's not impossible for John to be on to us. I did know I did not know this when the mayor asked me to hire him. But John's is the famed Loman Colorado Jones. Go down to the saloon. We need to get John's off of our back at once. If Colorado says he's going to back to Denver, let him be. At least he'll be out of the way in Denver. Uh, and if he's not going to the, going back to Denver, kill him. Colorado gulped down under the glass of the fourth Teresa Parilla. I'm leaving for Denver tomorrow. He told the bartender. Tell Benjamin Harris to meet me at the state coach of Denver, telling to meet me there before dawn tomorrow. I should, reply the bartender automatically. Jones went outside, mounted his horse, and rode her from Jeremy's ranch. Okay, very good. All right, so this is Jeremiah's. Jeremiah's. Uh-huh. Okay, so, uh, so rode hard. Okay, uh, make sure to pronounce that D there. It sounded like you said rode her. Okay, rode her for, uh, and then, so we want to add that, uh, that D in there in har. Okay, so rode hard uh, for Jeremiah's ranch. Try that. Rode her for Jeremiah's ranch. Okay, and this is instead of heard, it is hard. Rode hard. Rode hard. Okay, and it's more of an R sound. Um, uh, the word you're pronouncing, when you say heard, okay, I heard you say, okay, H-E-A-R-D. We want to make an R sound, okay? So uh, just like if you were to pronounce a H huh, and then an R, hard. Hard. Good, one more time, hard. Hard. Okay, so road hard for Jeremiah's ranch. Road hard or Jeremiah's ranch. Okay, much better with that R sound there. Good, okay. Um, and let's go to law man. So um, uh, Jones, man. instead of low, it's mm -hmm. law. Jones law. is the famed law man, Colorado Jones. Try that. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that uh, here where it says Jones, Jones famed the famed Loman Colorado Jones? Yeah, good. So instead of saying low, it's law. Okay. Uh, everything else sounded really good. Um, this word isn't all that. Uh, 
you know, uh, relevant because uh, no one drinks sarsaparilla anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, it would be pronounced sarsaparilla instead of sar. Sarsaparilla, it's sa. Okay. Sarsaparilla. It's the sarsaparilla. Okay. Yeah, instead of sarsaparilla. Yeah, the R is silent. Okay. Sarsaparilla. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's continue. Let's go to Caroline. Okay. All right. Um, where are we at? Okay, you found what? Range. So let me have you read that down to uh, fifty dollar gold pieces. Okay. Okay. You found what? Jeremiah Lewiston thundered. A black scuff mark f from new shoes. I also talked to a witness, and she says the man who robbed the bank had unpolished, brand new, shiny black shoes. No way. I knew Harry's was a thief, but this, this is very hard to believe. Do you know anyone else who wears polished, black, brand new shoes? No, only Benjamin Harris wear those kind of shoes, acknowledged Jeremiah. You need to go back to Denver and round up some men so you can catch Harris. Sure thing, Jerry. Colorado prepared to board the stagecoach back to Denver. Well, here's $50 for your troubles. Thanks, Harris. Colorado got into, into the stagecoach. He needed to find some solid evidence. With wandering eyes, Jones looked down at the gold piece in his hand. He stopped. Sitting in his hand was one of the stolen $50 gold pieces. All right, very good. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look here at some words. First up is evidence. Evidence. Yeah, so the accent is at, is at the very beginning of the word. One more time, evidence. Evidence. Good. Okay, uh, let's go to the word thief. Uh, where did you go, thief? Okay, so instead of saying thief, it is thief with a th sound. Try that. Thief. All right, let's talk about the th, okay? So when we pronounce the th sound, like in thief, our tongue goes between our teeth. Just like that. Thief, thief. Try that. Thief. There you go. One more time. Thief. Thief. Great. Okay. So that is uh, the uh, that th sound is what's called a voiceless or an unvoiced th. Okay. Uh, the voiced th is in words like the. Okay, and it has a vibration here. Th. The. Okay. Thief does not. Okay. So uh, those are the two different sounds that we produce with the the th sound. Okay. Um, much better. Nice job. Okay, uh, let's go to Emmanuel. Okay. Let me have you continue. Uh, where did we go to? Uh, gold piece. Okay, so there. So let me have you read Harris. from, yeah, from Harris was relieved. Okay, uh, down to follow him. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Harris was relieved. He finally had managed to shake that imprudent Jones, fellow of, of his tail. He had reward for him his two days, worth of work by paying him with one of the $50 gold pieces he had stolen from the bank. Even so, Harris was sure he had gotten away with it. He called his vigilantes together. Men, congratulations on our victory. We're going down to the saloon to celebrate. I'll buy the drinks. Cheese and a place rose up from the gang. Sadly, Colorado Jones, Jeremiah Lewiston, the county sheriff, and four other men walked up. Colorado spoke first. Having a party, are we? I thought you left town, said Harris. Incredulous. Bang! A shot rang out from Harris' left. 
one of John's men feel did. Harris mounted up and rode hard. He heard horses follow him. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, let's go to um, one of Jones's men fell dead. So instead of feel, mm -hmm. it is fell. So fell dead. Ah, Try that, please. Okay, fell dead. Good. One more time. Fell dead. Fell dead. Okay. Uh, this word here is suddenly. Suddenly. Good. One more time. Suddenly. Suddenly. Okay. Um, now let's practice that R sound here. Uh, so we want to say cheers. 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 Good. One more time. Cheers. Cheers. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go to aisle. I'll buy. I'll buy. Try that. Okay. I'll buy. Uh -huh. One more time. I'll buy. I'll buy. Mm -hmm. um, and we're. Where did we're go? Oh, okay. Right here. Uh, so instead of were, okay, uh, you'd pronounce this as if there was not an apostrophe there. And this is a contraction uh, yes. standing for we are. So we would not say were. Okay, the word is we're. We're, yes. Okay. We're. Excellent. All right. Uh, very good. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Let's uh, finish up with Julissa. And okay. so starting at, oh, go ahead and uh, finish the story. Awesome. Hi. You are under arrest. The voice was that of Colorado John. Bang. Another shot. This time the shot came from one of Colorado's cold revolvers. Harry's horse stumbled and fell. He felt a pain in his side as he hit the ground. The last thing Benjamin Harris remembered seeing was the stone cold faces of Colorado Jones and Jeremiah Lewiston. Harris was arrested and his gang dispersed. He was convicted of forging documents as a city and thief. Harris was also charged with the mishandling of funds. Benjamin Harris was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Two years later, Colorado Jones was elected mayor of this of, of Crescent City. Jeremiah Lewiston was appointed to city council. And Crescent City was once again the peaceful, affluent town it had once it had once been. Jones retired from law work once he was voted in as the mayor of Crescent City, but forever he will be known as the man called Colorado. Oops. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, some words. So this word is charged. Charged. Good. One more time. Charged. Charged. Okay. Uh, here is forging instead of forging. 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 Good. Okay. And that means faking. Okay. Creating fake documents. All right. And this word here, instead of de, uh, dispersing, it is disper, dispersed, sorry, dispersed. Dispersed. Good. Dispersed. One more time. Yep, that's it. Excellent. Dispersed. Okay. Uh, very good job, everybody. Thank you for, uh, for coming to class this hour and, uh, and uh, practice your pronunciation and, and reading with me, okay? Uh, I will be doing another class a little bit later today. Um, we'll be reading another story, not the same one, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thanks, Bye.